Okay, so in this video, we will give an example of the product rule of differentiation. Now, it's worth mentioning that we could, before differentiating, we could multiply everything out and then use simpler rules of differentiation. But we want to give here a direct example of the product rule and also a simplification of the answer by factoring every chance we get. So let's see what comes out here. Now, 7 is a constant multiple, so we know that 7 will simply stay where it is when we differentiate and then times the derivative of the remaining product. So we apply the product rule, which says we take first the derivative of the first function, which is 2x plus 0, so simply 2x, then times the second function, x squared minus 13, then plus the first function, x squared plus 3, then times the derivative of the second function, which is 2x minus 0, so simply 2x. So now we are done with the derivative. Let's see if we can simplify this expression by factoring as much as possible. So let's not multiply things out. Let's factor if there are common factors. If you notice, we have a sum of two terms, and each term contains a multiple of 2x. So this should be factored out up front. So we will have 7 times 2x, and then after 2x has been factored out, in the first term, we're left with x squared minus 13, then plus, again this was factored out, and so we're left with x squared plus 3. The factoring is done for now, so we can regroup the two quadratic terms and the two constant terms. So we have 2x squared, negative 13 plus 3 is negative 10, and if you notice, once again, we can factor a common multiple of 2. So we have 7 times 2x times 2, and what remains is, of course, x squared minus 5. And now this is also interesting because, although a quadratic polynomial, it is a difference of squares. You can think of 5 as the square root of 5 squared, and if you recall the general principle, a squared minus b squared for any a and b factors as a minus b times a plus b. So if we view x being a, root 5 being b, then this factors as x minus root of 5, whoops, root of 5 times x plus root of 5. And now we will have a complete factoring of our answer. And here we can regroup together the three constants, so 4 times 7, 28, so we have 28x, times the factoring of this quadratic, which is x minus root 5 times x plus root 5. Or, of course, you can swap the order, it doesn't matter. And we now have the derivative of the initial product fully simplified and factored.